Hey guys, what's up? Abbeforth here. So in this tutorial, I'll be continuing our setting up attack animations. And after the first tutorial, I noticed a few problems that we have when we try to run two animations together. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fix those up. So this is where we ended up last time. And we have, you can see the animations are overriding each other. So we need to fix this problem first. Uh, we need to set up a way so that each animation will only play once at a time and one at a time. So they don't overlap and overlap each other. So you can see I'm pressing the F key continuously and it's trying to play the animation again and again. So let's first deal with one animation. So in the node with the F key, I'm going to use a do once node. Right? So what this will do is, we'll only play our animation once un until we reset this node. So I'm going to drag this entire section here. And if our player is not jumping, then we want to play the animontage, right? And after that, when we have set our walking, our movement mode to walking, we want to, to, to reset this. So now let's give this a go. So F key. So I'm continuously pressing the F key and you can see that we are only able to do this one at a time. So let's do the same with the G key and yeah, and we get a reset from here. Right. So play G G. But you can see that after pressing F and G simultaneously, both of the animations are trying to play together. So to get rid of that problem, I have actually created a function called is montage playing. What this function will do is it will check whether any of the montages in the list are currently playing. And if they are, then I won't be able to play another montage no matter how many times I press the key so what I've used is the get current montage node so function is here you can create the function using this key and I've named it as montage playing then I've dragged off a current get current montage node and then I have set up two equal nodes that equals our current montage to fireball montage and handsball montage and if either one of them is playing we get true as the return value and if none of them, none of them is playing then we, then we get a false via the return node right so yeah let's do this is montage playing so what this will allow me to do is I won't be able to play the animation Rest with G key if an F key animation is already playing, right? So I'm gonna drag off a branch, and if it is false, then I should be able to play the G key animation. Let's do the same thing with the F key, and is montage playing? Uh, let's clear some space up here branch and here goes it okay so let's try this running f so we have only one animation playing at a time now let's try switching between them continuously you can see we got that sliding problem when we try to switch between animations see there's the problem again so this happens 
because we do not have a lot of time when the animation stops playing and when the other animation should start playing right we can try a short delay here let's give it a go so that we don't get that sliding problem and let's do the same here i'm adding a delay of 0.5 seconds so delay and 0.5 is enough as it is i do not want my character to continuously do magic attacks in the game so small delay won't hurt me at all f and g uh, sliding problem again so the way to get rid of this would be using a variable connecting these two together so i already have a variable can attack right here and let's track this here so already created a variable called can attack and it's a boolean value so if first let's get this here and get value branch if I press the F key and if I'm able to attack then I will check if other montages are playing and if everything is true then just before playing the montage I will set my can attack variable to false so now I cannot press the G key and run that animation and after all this is over after I've set my movement node and after the delay itself I'll do set can attack and I'll set that to true so only after this delay of 0.5 seconds will I be able to attack via the G key right so let's set this set the same thing up with the G key and we have a branch node it's true let's put can attack here after that let's do set this up okay can attack set can attack to false and let's do set can attack here to true compile save this out and let's try it one more time G, 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 G. and there it is no sliding problem because we have a good delay you see there's something weird going on here but I think we'll be alright with that in the prototype the rotation vector holds up because I move my mouse and after the animation the player rotates weirdly but that isn't the point here I think a blend space would do the trick right here so we've got rid of We've got rid of the sliding problem there and yeah probably in the next part I'll just show you how to make a nice particle effect for this fireball nothing to do with setting up animations but just a bonus consider it a bonus <laughs> okay um, yeah so thanks for watching and I hope this helped you out and if you like the channel then do subscribe it